high. I know I should be ashamed of myself. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. It's been a while and I'm sorry. And if I stutter or talk too much because this video is not scripted. And a lot of things happened since my last video, so I'm trying to get back on track when it comes to video. So I'm sorry. That's what I'm trying to say. And uh, please ignore this. I don't know where it came from, but I think it is. Oh, oh, you need a so, uh, hey everyone, welcome back. If you are new here, hey, my name is Mo. I'm a toxicologist and cosmetic safety assessor. In this channel, we love to talk about skincare, science, and ingredient safety. If that sounds interesting to you, please uh, subscribe and join this community. And this video is gonna just be me updating you about things and how the channel is heading, I would say. And I'm... <coughs> sorry. And I'm trying to get advantage of the lighting that I have right now, like the golden hour. So I'm making this video. First is... I moved places. I'm now moved... Uh, kind of outside of uh, Milan, so I'm uh, on the outskirt of Milan, so I'm moving places, moved houses, so that's why I've been very slow when it comes to YouTube videos. And uh, another point is that I have a full-time job now as a researcher, in uh, as a toxicologist and safety assessor for pesticide, not cosmetics, but pesticide. And it's interesting, it's challenging, and it's part of my new life right now for the foreseen future, I would say. And uh, yeah, so what I want to share with you today is those small updates. Uh, the videos hopefully will be coming back weekly or bi-weekly. Bi-weekly is once or every other week, uh, every other week. And I'm losing my English too and I'm not gaining Italian. So that's, uh, that's a mystery to be solved. So what I want to share with you, so to keep it skincare friendly, is that um, my current lazy skincare routine is not going to be a lot of science in it because I did not script it, I did not prepare all the information, I don't want to say anything inaccurate about any type of product, but I will just share with you what's been saving my skin in a way because I've been lazy and have zero time for myself to relax and enjoy life. So let's begin saving I'll me for a while. The first thing is this cleanser called Gel. It's from Slurb Lab. Uh, it's a Korean brand um, that have, I think, six formulas. I already collaborated with them in a previous video on Instagram. This is not part of the collaboration. And this cleanser is quite nice. It's, uh, it's I don't know how to describe it other than it does the job in a very nice way. No stripping. And it has some really interesting ingredients. Again, uh, ingredients in a cleanser can work, it depends on formulation, so if you saw inactive ingredients like salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide in a cleanser, it does work. Uh, don't listen to people telling you it doesn't work. If it's formulated correctly, some deposit will stay on their skin, giving you a very short contact, mild effect of this ingredient with continuous use, you will see result. So, this is a cleanser that uh, titled or has the phrase double cleanse, so you can use it without water on a dry skin to melt out your makeup or sunscreen. If you are a heavy uh, makeup user or heavy sunscreen user, then you can emulsify it. So it's kind of like a double cleanser, which is quite interesting and quite nice and very lazy people friendly and very friendly to the people who don't, don't have time. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, it has a um, soothing ingredient, it has mineral-based antioxidant, it has sulfur, so it has a bunch of ingredients that is nice, uh, does the job as a cleanser, doesn't strip my skin, it takes a little bit extra time to wash off uh, if you use too much, so one pump is uh, too much. The size of this thing is quite huge, so it will last you forever. Uh, another plus is a pump. A lot of there is a lot of cleansers that I love, but they are in a squeeze tube. I don't like this. I'm sorry. I'm lazy. I don't have time. I have to use something and quickly finish with it. And uh, the second product that I use is this. Uh, I will do a video about it. Uh, I have no idea. It was gifted to me by a close friend. 
Hi Nico, if you're watching, thank you. Uh, this is called... I'm, I'm not trying to... Hatomoji skin conditioner. Sorry I, if I offended anyone. Uh, this is a skin conditioner. What skin conditioner mean? I have no idea. The, it's a Japanese, so everything you in behind me is in Japanese. The main active ingredient, I think, if I'm not mistaken, is a lot of humectant plus um, a licorice root extract. Licorice root extract can help, it can be very anti inflammatory, soothing, uh, anti uh, pigmentation, and help the skin, let's say, inflammatory response to be milder, like uh, tone down the response to. Uh, stressors or this redness irritation that's what licorice root is supposed to be I don't know how much in, in it I've been using it a lot it's nice it's watery it's a it's a bottle that open up and you just drop a little bit and on your face so it's kind of like a toner kind of uh, um, essence kind of thing it's very affordable uh, I think you have to order it uh, from online it's not available unless you have uh, an Asian skincare store next to you, they might have it. It's nice. Did I see amazing result with it? Hydration, yes. Uh, Anti-redness, maybe. Like I've been using it for uh, quite a bit, but it's a huge bottle, so you you and you do the calculation and understand. It's nice. It's just uh, I use it on my hand, my face, sometimes on my body after the shower. It has glycerin. It has propylene glycol. All this very nice humectant that does the job. Redness wise, I I can't say I see a huge difference, but my skin seems to love it, to love it, and it doesn't irritate my skin. And possibly with longer term use, I can see some type of result, but I will keep you posted. For this is I'm telling you the morning and evening uh, skincare routine. Sorry if I'm out of breath, I'm exhausted, and it's been a long day. Uh, the next step is a an antioxidant and I'm trying this is what sent to me by PR is by Jordan Samuels skin it's his uh, antioxidant treatment emulsion he's a very nice uh, guy that I get to know through my Instagram and he offered to send me a PR and to see my opinion on it I've been using it I think for a week or so five eight days I cannot remember to be honest with you it's a nice uh, product. The thing is, the pump is amazing, but it dispenses too much. Too much, you need to do not even a half a pump, like a quarter, because this product spreads very well. So it, it has 50 ml, so I think it will last you quite long if you use a quarter of, I have a big face, so this is my hand, so I have a big face. Uh, you can use it a quarter, I think, of a squeeze. It will be weird, but you will get used to it. It has a very nice, I don't know if I can show you. It has this very nice color, as you can see, very pinkish, orangey kind of color. And that is thanks to Aztec Dancing. Aztec Dancing? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I will put it here. Uh, as you know, English is not my first language, so I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing active ingredients wrong. But yeah, Aztec Dancing, Aztec Dancing, or whatever it's pronounced, it's an antioxidant. It's quite effective. The, there is some data about it for a topical use. Some brands are starting to launch it as an uh, oral supplement for the skin, like Neutrogena Hydro Boost uh, gummies or something. It contains the same antioxidant plus vitamin C. It has a very nice mix of ingredients. I think this is targeted towards people, again, who doesn't have a time. They need one, one type of product that does everything. It's a, I think we are shifting as an industry, as a, as a skincare uh, a community towards multifunctional uh, products and I'm here for it because no one has the time to use a serum with one active or two active ingredient. So it has aloe vera, niacinamide, it has some uh, rice ferment filtrate, it has uh, some type of a lot of mixed oils and I think a peptide but I, I cannot find the peptide it's a very long. Oh it has also resveratrol, panthenol, it also has um, that's long. Uh, tripeptide 8, palmitol tripeptide 8. I was correct. Tripe palmitol tripeptide 8. And uh, it's a nice mixture of uh, antioxidant focused 
ingredients and uh, barriers um, support. It's a nice product. I really like the texture. It's not fragrance. Uh, the price, I forgot about the price, I'm sorry. Um, it's 50 ml. You need a quarter of a squeeze of this pump and you will be done for the day. I was using this and I'm sorry. This is another reminder that I'm a bad content creator, a bad science communicator, a bad influencer, whatever you want to call me. I promised you to do a video to break down this product. It's from Niche Lab. This is a brand that I have mixed feeling about. We had some type of communication before to communicate and try to um, deliver information better to the consumer, but there was miscommunication and maybe ba language barrier. So I don't know. Their products are amazing. Uh, they have some kind of uh, reddit based drama about their sunscreen uh, that not being as uh, the 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 what i are labeling as spf or the uh, uva protection this product is amazing i used it a barrier you will your barrier will love it it's uh, called lino 8 from their theramide yes with a th theramide line lino 8 it contains vitamin f 8% which is a fatty acid linoleic acid and uh, vitamin K, 1%, and Q10 enzyme, which is a coenzyme, 1%. It's nice. It's, it has a mild, silicony, creamy feeling, and it's, uh, your skin absorbs it well. It has a very nice glow after. Perfect product. The packaging has improved from their previous, pro uh, uh, previous uh, uh, packaging. Their previous packaging was just a, a regular jar with a tube in it. I'm not a um, package expert. And now it's a vacuum egg kind of a, a packaging. So now it can, you can use it to the end. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see this? No, I, I guess not. Yes, now you can. As you can see, the, the squeezy thingy disappears and it allow you to use the last bit of the product. It's a very nice product. The review is coming, I promise, I swear. The next step is, if I'm in the morning, sunscreen, skin, skin aqua, your favorite sunscreen, uh, sorry, my favorite sunscreen should be your favorite too, affordable, extremely cosmetic elegant, extremely light, uh, water resistant up to 18, up to 80 minutes. As you can see here, the new regulation, oh my God, the new regulation for the sunscreen in Japan now has this two star system. One star is 40 minute uh, water resistant, two star is 80 minute water resistant, and it should maintain half percent or 50% of the SPF after you've been in water for 80 minutes, which is kind of good. Uh, it ha it's SPF 50, PA plus 4 pluses, so it gives you the best protection that uh, a cosmetically elegant, I would say, formula can give you. I bought me with my friend, I think more than 50 bottles just to uh, stock up for this summer. Amazing one. I think I have a review. Yes, I have a review on it if you want to see it. Uh, why I switched my loyalty from EU or European sunscreen to Asian one. Price, cosmetic elegance, and uh, a pump for the people who doesn't like uh, tubes or liquidy stuff or, you know, sunscreen can comes in a lot of shapes and form, but a pump is always uh, preferred. And uh, the last thing, if I want to switch to my night, same thing, gel removes the sunscreen, conditioner after and antioxidant serum or this. I alternate, but now I'm finished. I already ordered this one. I'm fin trying to finish this one. And for night, for active uh, ingredients, I'm not gonna lie, I'm only using this. Tretinoin, one of the gold standard, if you wanna call it, 0.05%. I bought it here in Italy, 0 0.05%. 0 and that's it and as a moisturizer if my feeling my skin is dry i'm using this as well i started using them at the same time uh, also from jordan samuel skin the performance performance cream yep uh, it's a peptide based very light gel cream moisturizer i don't know if i can show you the texture i don't know my camera is not focusing but we will try if you can see it here very light 
it turns into kind of like a not i would say water it has some emulsion to it it's a very i wouldn't say basic but it's a very nice emulsion that has a kick but it's still at the same time light enough to be used you only need a small amount i don't know what with the with the the, the, the skincare line he loves um, jordan samuel love us uh, to save some money so you use tiny bits of the product and they spread very well so these are my skincare this is my skincare routine i would say and those are the products that i use day and night i'm trying to incorporate more i'm trying to test more i already tested a lot of product but i didn't have the time to film everything so if you uh, stayed for this moment i would like to say thank you so much and i will see you soon very much likely every week or a one video every two weeks it depends on my job like i said now i have a full-time job i have to be present there i wish i can do this more often but it depends but yes this is my skincare routine i think i had a comment asking me about my skincare routine and that's why i thought about it and i uh, with a few updates about my life what's going on and if you are staying here, uh, uh, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me and my channel. And I promise I will be more regular since now I'm more settled in, more, uh, let's say, have more space to film, to do everything. And uh, yeah, see you soon. And as always, stay safe and see you in the next one. Ciao.